What's good, Chaotic Nation? It's your boy, Chaos here, and we are back again with the My Gym series. We have begun to create gyms off of themes using two different types of Pokemon to create a gym. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series so far, and let's check out today's gym, which is based around chess. One of my favorite games to play is chess. I've played it throughout my childhood and has become a catalyst for my love of strategy games. This gym was bound to happen at some point just because it is one of my favorite games to play. This gym would be comprised of steel and ground type Pokemon. It would also be the 7th or 8th gym, and the puzzle of this gym would be rather simple. You would have to win a game of chess. The trick is that some of the pieces cannot be used since they are trainers. You must move the trainers into position by getting into their line of sight and thus moving them on the board. Of course, you may personally place them if you leave the gym and return because it would reset the board and they will not be able to move again if you've battled them. Trainers in this gym will be using Pokemon like Mudbray, Bastiodon, Escavalier, Ponyard, Golurk, and Palosan. By completing the board, you will trigger a sequence that will clear the pieces from the board as well as knock over the opposing king. I will emerge from behind the knocked over king and say that was quite a match. It's been a while since somebody's beat me in chess, but let's see how you fare in a Pokemon battle. On guard, and the battle begins. Now I've chosen my team more based off of Pokemon puns since it's another thing that I really enjoy rather than Pokemon that actually would resemble the piece. So I will mention both in case you want to prefer one over the other. To start with, I will be using a Rookie D at level 38. Yes, I know it's kind of weird that I'm using a basic Pokemon in this gym, but Rookie D is here to resemble the Rook. While this may seem like an easy knockout, Rookie D is holding a Focus Sash in order to live a hit. It also knows Brave Bird, Reversal, Attract, and Tailwind. Rookie D is able to set up with Tailwind and Attract in order to make itself useful for the rest of the team. An alternative Rook-like Pokemon could be Bastiodon or Stack Attacka if you want to include Ultra Beast. Next up is a level 39 Corviknight to resemble the Knight. If you'd rather use a Horse Pokemon for the slot, I would recommend Mudsdale. Either way, Corviknight knows Brave Bird, Iron Defense, Iron Head, and Body Press. Its presence also causes you to be unnerved, so you can't eat berries. Next up we have Bisharp, the Bishop, at level 40. Yes, this is a legal Pokemon, since you can catch a level 33 Bisharp in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. I know Bisharp, you get a Bisharp later in the game, if you level up a Ponyard, so this is legal. Check your sources. Bisharp knows the moves Knock Off, Confide, Iron Head, and Guillotine. I thought Guillotine was a pretty cool way of adding a move to this Pokemon, since using Guillotine is also associated with power, and, you know, as a bishop, they had a lot of power in history, so I thought that was pretty cool. Also, it can be frustrating to deal with if you come into this gym underleveled, because if I land a Guillotine, you just lose, and yeah, you aren't going to get by that very easily. God save our next Pokemon at level 42 which is the Nido Queen. The Queen is an instrumental piece in the chessboard for control, so Nido Queen is prepared to take you on with Earth Power, Sludge Bomb, Thunder, and Blizzard. Much like her playstyle in chess, the Queen gives no mercy, and that's the reason I chose Thunder and Blizzard over something more accurate like Thunderbolt and Ice Beam. Nido Queen will have boosted damage thanks to its sheer force ability, which means it won't be able to paralyze or freeze you or poison you, but it can do a lot of damage. Make way for the king. Nido King is at level 41. Much like chess, the king is the final piece standing in your way to victory. Nido King has Earthquake, Outrage, Toxic, and Protect. This thing is a powerful force, although hopefully you won't have to get to this point in the bad battle so that way the queen can take you out or maybe one of the other Pokemon but who knows you might have a strategy if you can defeat me you will get the check badge as well as the TM for counter using that move is a great way to get the upper hand on your opponent I will say 
For a rematch team, we simply would add one of the Pokemon mentioned during our breakdown. So either Mudsdale or Bastidon, unless you want to choose Stack Attacka and allow Ultra Beast. I thought that was a little bit broken, but you might not, so do with it what you will. As for the lore, I'm not really sure how this character would fit in with a specific game. Maybe something to do with Kalos and the royalty over there. So I don't know really what else I would do with it. But if you have an idea, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below what you would use this team for. Like where would it fit in? Maybe you create your own region or something like that. Just let me know. I'd like to see your ideas. And thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought of the team in the comment section down below, and feel free to let me know your ideas for themes you would like to see in the future. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to support the channel, and I will catch you in a future video. I'm really excited to get back to these series and getting back to the Saturday content, so I hope you guys are enjoying that, and feel free to let me know what else you want to see coming up. That's all I have for you today, so until next time, stay safe, and as always... Enough.